Um, okay, we're here for a rather heavy-hearted video at the beginning of 2024. Now that the new year is here, here are some of the worst movies that came out 2023, in my personal opinion, of course. Honestly, I usually prefer to keep negative opinions to myself, but I felt the need to make this video because I already made a video about the best movies, so why not? 2023 was filled with movies, and just as there were many good ones, there were also many bad ones, or weak ones. Today we're not discussing the good movies. Our focus today is that big responsibility. It is a big responsibility for me to share something like this, or to step out and talk about it. <laughs> I'll talk to you in this video about my very personal choices for the top 15 weakest or worst films of 2023. Worst is a very difficult word, but it accurately describes some of the films in this list. Let's put together an intro with seconds from each film. Top 15. Shazam! Fury of the Gods is one of the movies that present superheroes harshly, and I feel it's very wrong. The film itself is entirely chaotic. Shazam! Fury of God is a film that doesn't resonate with the viewer. I might have enjoyed it a bit while watching, perhaps for about 15 minutes, but the main problem is the monotony in this type of film. I couldn't believe I finished it and I don't want to see it again. This negatively affects the success of any film. Top 14. The Marvels. Yeah. Just as you heard, exactly like that, the Marvels this year were very disappointing. The whole film, in a nutshell, lacked anything good. The actors themselves were very poor. And I didn't expect this from the Marvels, and it was quite a shock to me. As someone who's been a fan of the Marvel Universe for a long time, this film is utterly dis just really bad and disappointing for all Marvel fans. It's a film that doesn't fit at all into the series. Top 13, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Yeah, a lot of people express extreme hatred for this film as it has a very low rating so far, but I didn't hate it as much as those people. I just can't describe it to you, but it, I expected something a bit better. The film disappointed me in the literal sense. I expected in this film that we would discover many things about Kang, but that didn't happen. There were many details I was waiting for and numerous questions went unanswered and the film's visual, musical and acting effects were very weak and that's disheartening. Top 12. The Exorcist Believer. A film that is supposed to be a horror, and the horror here is that a child changes her voice and sparks, for example, but we're supposed to be scared, the pace of its events are its poor, and it started strongly and drew me in, but it made me enjoy it, and then took away from it, just suddenly changed, all that was no longer present. The events became ridiculous. Scenes that were supposed to be scary had no relation to horror, and there was neglect of the characters and their roles. Honestly, the film was inappropriate for the name The Exorcist. The film lacked any excitement or horror, and its ending was just poor. Top 11. Rebel Moon Part 1. A Child of Fire. Since this list is full of shocks and disappointments, let me add the massive film, and I'll say its name while feeding hesitant and finding it challenging to express it sincerely. Still, I have to be honest with you, Rebel Moon Part 1, A Child of Fire was a terrible film. I know this might be shocking for you, but that's the truth. The film had a few good scenes, and the effort put into them was evident, but that was just a few scenes. A massive film like this deserves to be enjoyed from start to finish, especially given its duration. I believe the least compensation for this time is watching a good film, but from start to finish it was dull except for a few minutes. 
The film was unbearably boring, and I'm sorry to say that. As I left the film, I hope that its second part wouldn't be as bad. Now let's move on to the top 10 worst challenging items on this list. It wasn't easy to rank them, but I tried to classify them correctly. Top 10: Life Upside Down. Supposed to be a comedy. Life Upside Down tells the story of characters trapped in their homes due to the coronavirus. They decided to take us with them to their homes to see how they would spend this long, dull time. But they conveyed the boredom. The film was extremely, extremely dull, and I can't speak much about the actors' performances since the cast itself is strong and the actors are well known. But in this film, I didn't feel that. I am being honest with you. The film's story is not impressive, and it felt like a copy of similar films we've seen before. Top nine, you people, a shocking romantic comedy from Netflix. How did the actors perform like this? The chemistry between the characters in the film was terrible, and the film was supposed to be a romantic comedy. But I felt that the actors were just doing their job, reciting lines and collecting their paychecks. The comedy. And the film was honestly a dark comedy. What nonsense is this? Perhaps the script itself was weak, causing the actors to perform like that, and the film was disappointing for many people. But honestly, it wasn't a shock for me. I didn't have high expectations from the start. Even the trailer didn't attract me, so I thought it was okay to waste some time on it. Top eight. 65. A film that was supposed to be good is one of those films we look forward to enjoying, and it's a regular science fiction and technology film, and success was anticipated. However, it disappointed me and completely shattered my expectations. The film is a bit bad, and it's not easy at all to create a film based on dinosaurs. I know, and it makes it captivating dinosaurs. And this film proved us that it's indeed. Not easy. Unfortunately, 65 presented us with such a dull spectacle. I felt that the actors' performances needed enthusiasm and excitement to attract the attract the audience, but didn't see that in the entire cast of the film. The screenplay was very poor. There was strange nonsense in the story. Top seven: The Expendables. Many, many disappointments. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you that the Expendables 4 is a bad part of the Expendables series. The film shattered the expectations I had for it, and I love the entire cast of the film. But Sylvester Stallone's performance in this part was disastrous in every sense. Jason Statham tried to deliver a good and respectable performance at the beginning of the film, but the film story surely didn't help him continue with a powerful performance. The story.、Um, Um, whereas, where's the story? It was a strange story. The actors themselves seem not to believe what they were doing or saying. The film is full of pointless actions. All the effects in it are weak, with very weak audio and visual effects. Honestly, in all the scenes in the film, there weren't good performances in all aspects. Top six: Knights of the Zodiac. In films like this, even before watching them, you know that this. Film could be bad. I'm aware that it's bad, and I watched it to prove to myself that I'm right, not more. From the first trailer and the first scenes, you'll know immediately that it's not a good film. How can a film relying on visual effects have such weak visual effects? The screenplay is very weak, and the acting performances. Are also we. The Zodiac stories are not new, and there's nothing in them that could evolve to present them to us again. All the stories lead to the same idea and the same ending. I felt there was no achievement in this film, meaning that in the story here in Knights of the Zodiac, it tells you. That the hero played by Japanese star Makenyu is Pegasus Knight, and he protects the incarnated form of the goddess Athena. Once you delve into the rest of the story, you'll find the plot very weak. A film that doesn't deserve to be watched at all. Top five: Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. A new disappointment. One of the most shattered films for my belief. I've loved Indiana Jones films. For a long time, and I have enjoyed watching them creating memories. And I believe you have too. 
However, all that excitement led us to this film. It's a documentary film directed by James Mangold. I didn't feel he was the right director to take over from Steven Spielberg. James, from my perspective, is one of the best directors currently. But it was a surprise and a disappointment for me that he delivered a film of this caliber. The film can be called bad at the very least, and that's what said about it. Nothing more. Than a waste of time. The actress' performances are all weak, with strange decisions and even stranger changes in the characters. Every character. Phoebe Waller-Bridge. I I don't understand. I I don't. Her performance from the beginning of the film turns from bad to worse, and I didn't get it at all. The film's plot is just not good. This Indiana Jones part is the lowest, the lowest in the series among all parts. I felt that. It concluded Indiana's stories and ended with a sad ending. Believe me, I tried to love this film due to my love for the other parts, but it was extremely challenging. Top four: Ghosted, a mix of action, comedy, and adventure. The story tells us about two friends with a strong bond who decide to embark on an adventure to save the world. I think we've seen these stories and events many times before, haven't we? Maybe we've seen the same film before, just with different characters and just nothing more. The screenplay of this film was strange to me. Not just the screenplay, but the film's plot and the actors' performances. The film was genuinely strange. I believe the jokes that were told made people laugh due to their absurdity. The film wasn't very disappointing for me because I expected this level from it. Top three: Peter Pan and Wendy. It's a remake of Peter Pan again, but I wish it wasn't. I love Peter Pan in the animated version and how it was beautifully presented. We all have memories of Peter Pan. All of this happened in 1953. Unfortunately, Peter Pan's 2023 was far from the 1953 animated version that we all loved. Wendy's character in this part was difficult, nerve-wracking, and far from Wendy from 1953. Peter Pan in this film appears uglier than Captain Hook. The <laughs> kind Peter Pan. We love was betrayed in 2023 by these characters. There's no chemistry between Wendy and Peter, and the story is stolen with ridiculous additions and even more ridiculous characters. Top two, Boo is afraid. Many people really like this film, and they might be annoyed that I placed it on this list, especially at the top. However, I just need to understand. What's good about it? The story revolves around Boo, who has lived his entire life influenced by his troubled and negative relationship with his father. When his father dies, the adventure begins as he goes to his childhood home. It's a journey full of risks. I emphasize that the film was hard to endure. I didn't like it at all. The comedy level is very low, filled with. Unbearable absurdities. Additionally, the pace of the event is slow and has a terrible rhythm in the story. If you enjoyed a film like this, you deserve an applause for enduring it. Top one: the weakest film of 2023 goes to Winnie the Pooh. Blood and Honey, my least favorite film this year, and not just least favorite; it's entirely unfavorable. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Is a horror film about poo, and yes, horror is a strange element in Winnie the Pooh. I'm sure you've never imagined Winnie the Pooh as a terrifying, or killer, or evil. It's a very odd thing. I had hoped that this film would turn out well, though what I saw was difficult to watch, not entertaining at all, and a complete waste of my time. Pooh's character was very strange, not the typical Pooh <laughs> we're used to. I don't understand if this was a budget constraint, but I was hopeful that the film, at the least, would turn out well. The film is meaningless, ridiculous, and illogical, an absolute waste of time. It's none sad. People, with this we've finished 
the list of the weakest and worst films of 2023. 15 disappointing and utterly discouraging films that I don't deserve, that don't deserve your time. If you watch this video, I appreciate your support. It's my personal, it's, it's a personal opinion and thank you for caring about it. Thanks again to everyone watching and I'm very excited about the new year and its films. So I can share my opinions with you guys. Feel free to tell us your list of the worst 2023 films in the comments section below. And that's it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>